I'm Laura Spalding Best, and this is Best Practices. Let's talk about some pro tips. So, in museums, we have a lot of plexiglass or acrylic vitrines. So all this clear plastic that is everywhere right now, uh, there's a lot of sneeze guards to protect people from customers. Um, it's um, out in the world a lot more during this pandemic and you should know the right way to clean it. So um, surfaces like acrylic um, that is essentially a plastic, uh, you do not want to use normal glass cleaners on. Anything that contains ammonia, um, most Windex, 409, those kind of things, um, things that you might be using to sanitize areas, you want to check to see what their ingredients are. So in museums and in art galleries, what we usually use to clean our uh, Plex is Plex Cleaner. And you can find that at the hardware store. Um, it's, it's actually pretty common. And what we use here um, is the Novus system. You don't need to invest in this for home, but um, for us it's really great because we like to get the most life out of our acrylic that we possibly can. And if you have the different stages of the system, you can buff out scratches as well as, you know, clean off fingerprints and nose prints and that kind of thing. So if you're gonna be cleaning acrylic, the first thing you wanna do is have a really nice, um, soft, um, cotton towel that's not going to leave a lot of lint behind. You can use microfibers, but some stuff that has slightly abrasive surfaces are going to leave tracks that you'll see over time when you see daylight on the Plex surface. So a good rule of thumb for cleaning anything, especially in the museum world, is to never spray directly on the surface. We would of course never clean an art object that way. We would approach it from a much more tentative and um, conservation-based standpoint. But when it comes to hard materials like this, I'm always going to gently spray my cloth and then apply it to the surface. I can wipe it out on the wet side and then buff it out on the dry side. And that's all it needs because if I see that it needs more, I'll just build up to that and I'll add more sprays afterwards. So when you're cleaning acrylic, remember to use plexiglass cleaner rather than a cleaner that contains ammonia. <laughs>